Oh, remember we were talking yesterday, you brought this up, that Spider-Man is now single. And yeah. The, and the comic book fans are all upset. Uh, this guy, Joey, on the phone works for um, Marvel, I know. He's like, he's like a big deal at Marvel. Oh. Joey, what's your job at Marvel? Hey, Howard, uh, editor-in-chief. Yeah, he's the editor of Marvel. So you're the one. I'm the one. That wiped out Spider-Man's path. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the guilty party, guys. Yeah, and explain, because I think this is bogus, too, Joey. Right. Now, I'm a big Spider-Man guy, but I don't understand. You made Spider-Man get single. Like, like his whole relationship with his wife was a dream? Uh, no, Howard. Actually, what, what, what happened was that we needed to remove the marriage from Spider-Man because ultimately, 20-some-odd years ago, Marvel made the mistake, I believe, of marrying Peter Parker off. And Peter Parker essentially works better as a single character, I mean, I mean, every incarnation you see of Peter Parker, with the exception of the comics, uh, has him as a single person. Because then you can have romance for Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, let's face it. Who amongst us? And you know, I'll talk to everybody there. I love you guys in the show, but I'll talk to all you guys. Who there feels that a story of their life as a married person is much more exciting than the story of them as a single person? <laughs> uh, yeah, but why? That's true. Why not let? But why not let her die? Well, because one of the other there was been, there's been a lot of damage done to the Spider-Man cast over the years. Way too many characters dying. Way too many friends dying. But it would seem to me, in the reality of a superhero, that mm -hmm. with good reason, many Doc Ock or somebody could kill. Right. That's a perfect plot twist. His yeah, wife. Exactly. But the thing is, we didn't want to get rid of any more important cast members because that's that's another place where we found ourselves with, with Spider-Man, where there's so many cast members that were really important to him were gone. So consequentially, at the end of the day, and Howard, you know this as well as I do, that what's really important about Spider-Man is Peter Parker, not so much Spider-Man. And it's the life of Peter Parker that we get engaged in. And then when he puts on that red and blue suit and starts jumping around and doing those cool oh, things. Oh, how did you get rid of the wife, though? What is the Basically twist? what happened is we have this character named Mephisto, um, who you know essentially is kind of like a devil kind of character. And there's a Faustian pact, because Peter, Peter's Aunt May is, is dying, and you know, just the typical, you know, what, what do I do, Aunt May or, 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 or do the other good deed? And Mephisto comes over to him and says, y you know, I got a deal for you. I could save Aunt May, but what I want from you is the true love that you two guys have. I want this marriage. So basically, what happens in our continuity? As, you know, because people are up in arms saying, "Oh my God, twenty years of my comics are worth, worthless," which is a whole other thing altogether that we could talk about if you'd like. But at the end of the day, what Pistol does is he says, "You know what? You guys, yeah, you've dated all this stuff. What I want is the marriage." He takes away the marriage. So basically, what and does, Mar does his wife? agree to this? Actually, she's the one that initially makes the deal. She's the one that forces Peter into it because she knows that it's the right thing to do. He's got to save the person's life. So essentially, those two have forgotten that, that they, were, they married. were ever married. That they were married. Not that they were together, but that the marriage, and actually the marriage just didn't happen. It was wiped out of existence. So basically, they've gone through their lives. Everything has sort of happened, but essentially that sort of union of matrimony did not happen. That's, a very, that's, that's a very complicated plot. But I like it. It's not like wiping that. it out like it was a dream. Well, not only that, Robin, what's also important here is that it allows us, you know, and fans can, can speculate on this, there was a wedding day. We're going to tell you, there was a wedding day, but the wedding didn't happen, so it's a story for us to tell at another day. So Mephisto uh -huh. changes reality. Yes. All right, got it, Joey. Thank you. You got it, Howard. All right, there is Joey for all comic book fans. Yeah, now it makes a little more sense to me. Well, it was a plot of I some killed evil her. character, and they get to keep the Mary Jane character around. But how is he going to date if he's still in love with Mary Jane? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember he's in love with her. Neither one. What happens is there has been a breakup somewhere down the road. They did break up. Oh. And that's, again, another story that we're going to tell down the, down the road. So, I you know, we, our readers do have to stick around to see what actually did happen. All wow. right. So Peter Parker's single. Peter Parker's single once Thank you. again. And Robin is not. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joey. Why's not single about me? Joey's a good guy. I know him for a couple of years now. And, Thanks, uh, Thanks he's, he's really dedicated to these comments. Uh, I can hear in his voice that this matters yeah. to him. Hey, yeah. How old Do are you, you now? Are Joey? you getting a backlash from the fans? Yeah, but you know, Robin, the thing is, we get a backlash for everything that we do at Marvel because, you know, we are the number one comics company and, you know, it's our fans are passionate about this stuff. If if I got no backlash, I'd really worry oh, okay. <laughs> today because it means nobody's reading this stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's part and parcel of what we do for the business. You know, I mean, I mean, everybody who's had this job as editor-in-chief has gotten backlash. So, Jason, you know. what is it? 
just want to tell Joey, you know, next time, just kill Aunt May, please. Like, she's a useless character. <laughs> you could have kept the story going. You could have kept the hot chick, and we wouldn't have to deal with any of this. Yeah, but, but you know you know what it is? Aunt May is also part of that important mix. And, 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 and you know, those of us who have been reading Spider-Man for, forever and ever... You know, know this that that you know it, it's it's that it's that quintessential scene of like, hey, I gotta get Aunt May her medicine because she's gonna die. How old or, is Peter you know, Parker? How, how I wonder how old Joey is. Are you still doing this? <laughs> All right, I'm 45, man. All right, oh, man. are you? That's okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, You're thanks, okay. Joey. Got, but really, how old is Peter Parker? Isn't he 50 something? Yeah, Peter Parker now is no teenager. <laughs> All right, thank you, Joey. Thanks, Eric. I, don't, I never like to. Be dead. I don't want to spend too long on comics because I start getting backlash from my fans. <laughs> They're like, we don't care about right. Spider Man. I was starting to zone. I yeah. like I like comics to a certain extent, but th that explanation was getting a little. I'm like, what oh, you the should fuck see his. You should see his emails. He emails me all the time <laughs> about comic book stuff, and then it, like you go to the link, and it's so boring. <laughs> and he's one of these guys who doesn't know how to email. You, you, Joey sends me. Three of every email. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah, like it's in triplicate. Wow. And each one is so, bo it's like comic book, like special drawings. and. That and, being said, though, yeah. you do need a guy like that for that job. Yeah. You do. He takes it very it's seriously. A, he's passionate about he, he's it. He's a great guy. You I know, like him very much. It's funny because uh, I didn't know who he was. In fact, I emailed you yesterday. Joey like, Dak. So, uh, Steve, our intern, who's like a comic book nut, I was talking to his girlfriend at the Bat Mitzvah. She bought him just comic books. He couldn't believe that we had that guy on the air. Yeah, that Joey. He's like a star to him. Yeah, Joey. Joey, uh, I've uh -huh. known him a bunch of years. Yeah, he's the big yeah. comic book dude. Yes, he is. Bright guy, too. All right.